Hi there. I'm Cindy Linden, and this is a Cook Along Podcast Quick Bite. If you listen regularly to the Cook Along Podcast, you will have heard interesting stuff I've learned that just show up when I'm doing a recipe. Some things that I've told you before, and some that I never get around to sharing that I really think are cool tips. Homemade chili, or even canned chili, actually any kind of chili, needs a little vinegar. You could also use lime juice, but I happen to like the vinegar better. The acidity just really does some magic to any kind of chili. It just brightens it. You don't want a lot. It's just a little drip or two into your chili just as you're serving it that it can be stirred in. It really does wonders for your chili. You can use apple cider vinegar, white vinegar. I sometimes use seasoned rice vinegar, which also has a little sugar in it. Or like I said, squeeze a wedge of lime over it. The acid is great. It makes the chili just pop. Okay, I don't know how else to say it. If you're roasting vegetables, you know, it's so easy. You just cut up your vegetables into bite-sized pieces and toss them with oil and a little salt. Throw them on a baking sheet and roast them at 425 for 20 to 30 minutes. Here's a tip to make them even better. While you're preheating your oven, you put the sheet pan that you're going to use for roasting in the oven to preheat along with the oven. Why would you do that? Two reasons. It then cooks your vegetables faster and it browns them better. In terms of saving time, I got another couple of tips. If you're going to saute some mushrooms, microwave them first. Not very long, just enough to soften them up a little bit. There's some excess water in mushrooms that if you microwave them first before you saute them, the excess water goes away. So they saute a lot faster because that moisture isn't boiling out of there. And ditto with potatoes. If you're going to fry them or if you're going to roast them, sometimes potatoes will be the last thing to get done, right? You probably know this especially if you roast vegetables all mixed up together. It's the potatoes you're really waiting for, right? Well, microwave them first. Just microwave them until they just start to give a little bit, all right? You really don't want to cook them. You just want to give them a little head start so that by the time they are frying or roasting, they are more likely to get cooked through more quickly. Random tip, any kind of sauce, and believe it or not, even tomato sauce. If you add a bit of cold butter to any sauce right at the end, it adds some richness and some shine that will make your sauce just a little bit better. Kind of takes it over the top edge to make sure it's really the best it can be. A good rule for almost anything you're cooking, unless the recipe specifies when to add the garlic, Add the garlic last so it won't burn and it will keep its flavor. The longer you cook it, the more the flavor kind of disseminates into the sauce. If you want a soft garlic flavor, put it in earlier. If you want a brighter garlic flavor, put it in later. If you want an intense garlic flavor, put it in at the very end. And final rule for this podcast, when in doubt, double the garlic. You can't go wrong There's no such thing as too much garlic. Trust me. I hope you use these. They're great ideas, if I do say so myself. And until next time, happy cooking. 